Hello, hello, and welcome back to the podcast that doesn't exist. Mm, yeah. Buckle up, everybody, because today we've got an episode full of stolen artwork, a $10 million reward, and I even get chased by the FBI. I'm Carly Q, and this is Who, When, Wow, Mystery Edition. Our past is vast and wild. Many things have brought us to this day. has been compiled some important details have slipped away in our spectacular shared existence we consider it a business to recognize a few folks you may not know Butthead as a junior temporal analyst during business hours. Ooh, I love those shoes, Chris. These are slippers. I don't like this. Okay. But I spend my lunch breaks doing my real work. Morning, Ruby. Hi, Jade. Investigating history's mysteries to bring my findings to you through this wow inducing podcast. Take care of those bunions. Am I right? Have a great day, everybody. As I walked down the stairs into the basement today, I felt like there was Somebody's something missing. But I just couldn't what put my it? finger on it. Not put my finger on it. My job as a junior temporal analyst is to catalog random historical just events like that come to me in thumb drive audio files dropped down a tube. <sighs> All right, down the tube come the files. And nothing cataloging, makes me happier than when the historical event is time sealed. Ah, yes, I am so happy. Time sealed event. That makes me happy, 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 yes. Event. 13 pieces of art. Boston. It's 1990. Wicked. Because that means it's time to sneak into mm, Butthead's one-of-a-kind time-traveling yeah. elevator yes. to go back in time and investigate what's being Here hidden from this file. It's happening. Unfortunately. Oh, uh, no. Oh, my goodness. It's only 9.30. Do you have to wait until lunchtime to use uh, the elevator? All right. That's Since fine. my clues that's had to do with fine. art... It got me thinking about the basement and how there wasn't really anything beautiful and joyful down there. You know, there's really nothing beautiful or joyful down here. I got it. I decided to search on the computer for some bright and cheery artwork I could frame and display. I need decorations. One single hang in there kitty cat poster tacked up to the wall just wow, wasn't okay, enough. Like, uh... Plus, Nibbles hates cats. And I'm obviously more of a rat person myself. Where are you, Nibbles? Oh, good. I'd like your opinion on which art we should order for the basement. My little rat friend Nibbles and I searched okay, let's and see. searched. Uh, art Carney, Art Blakey, Art Garfunkel, Art Bell. Oh, he sounds neat. Aha! Wall decoration art. And then we saw it. It's perfect. The cutest, really? most jolly picture of a fluffy mouse wearing a sunflower as a hat. Oh, well. And this piece of artwork was called... Sunflower, Sunflower squeaks. squeaks. Perfect name for such an excellent art piece. Hey there, Carly Q. I bet you can guess who that is. <sighs> yep, it's Lewis, my least favorite fizzy water drinker at Butthead. Nibbles tends to scurry under my desk when he shows up. What do you want, Lewis? What do you have that I'd want, Carly Q? Well, I'm sharing those fizzy waters in the fridge, aren't I? <sighs> These fizzy waters are company property, Carly. The Bureau gets them for everyone. Well, he had me there. Thanks for visiting, but you know, I'm actually kind of busy down here, so... Busy? Huh. Those pictures on your screen don't look like the memo I asked you to write for the temporal coffee clatch next week. Well, that's because I don't know what a, uh, a coffee... Co catch... what? Coffee clatch. With a K. Two Ks, actually. It's a social gathering with coffee. With a C. Well, why didn't you just say that? Because I have culture. Unlike those pictures you're looking at. You're not buying art, are you? If you must know, I am making a list of pictures for management to buy so I can liven up this basement. Don't you think it could use some 
charm? <laughs> You're joking, right? Did you miss the budget email that management sent a few days ago? No, I did not miss the email. I read every budget email, top to bottom, forwards and backwards. Sometimes I even print them out when the printer is working. Well, and it didn't say that art is on the list of important purchases. Are you trying to tell me art isn't important? I never said those words, Carly Q. But you should go ahead and ask management what they think. Just make sure I'm there to see their faces when you beg for money for... <laughs> art. <laughs> <laughs> See ya, Carly Q! <laughs> and get me that memo ASAP! <laughs> that means as soon as possible! <laughs> Two, three, five, seven, eleven. Some people count 13, to ten when they get angry. Seventeen. I count 19, prime numbers. You should try. Three. Very soothing. Twenty-nine. Attention, butthead employees! Due to budgetary cuts, Today's lunch break will be 47.4 seconds shorter than usual. Enjoy! <sighs> Phew. Saved by the bell. I was getting so frustrated, I could have counted to 15,485,863. I pulled my handheld AI assistant, HDAD, out of my drawer to see if he could figure out what the new clues mean. HDAD, powering up! I plugged in my clues. 13 pieces of art. Boston, 1990. While HDAD did his thing, I collected nibbles. We're going to the park. And my backpack. The elevator. And made my way to the time-traveling elevator. Going to Boston. That's not bad, right? That's good. Guess who? Surprise, surprise. It's my basement companion. Hello there, Odie. How are you on this beautiful day? Is it beautiful? I only see this elevator. Well, I thought about that. And... I wanted to make you something to show you how much I appreciate you letting me use the time-traveling elevator all the time. So, I made this picture for you. Oh my goodness. It's a yellow ball with sticks in it on top of a person standing on a green carpet. No, it's you on a grassy hill with sun rays beaming on your face. And you're smiling. You do know how to smile, right? <clears throat> this this is... Odie, are you crying? Analyzing complete. 13 pieces of art. Boston, 1990. It is with 97.032% accuracy that the time-sealed event referenced is the Isabella Stewart Gardner Art Heist. <gasps> art Heist? People steal art? How disrespectful. Affirmative. The Isabella Stewart Gardner Art Heist is the biggest unsolved art heist in history. Have you heard of this, Odie? Uh -huh. I, I have. Apparently, they never put new art in the places on the walls where this stolen art stood. There are empty frames throughout the museum. Wow. They must think art is really important. Unlike the bosses at Butthead. What, they don't like art? Well, they think it's too expensive, but that room needs something. Am I supposed to look at dark, drab walls all day, every day for the rest of my life? Oh, basement companion. It's not what you look at that matters. It's what you see. Exactly. What I see is ugly walls. And wait, where are those chimes coming from? <laughs> Let's get moving, basement companion. 47 seconds less for your lunch break. You know the rules. When you go to the past, you can't change or stop anything, so don't try. You may observe and ask questions, but do not meddle. Understand? Understood. When you arrive back in time, a card reader will remain where you came in. Use your key card and the elevator will reappear. You can also use it to fast forward to other time periods on the file. But you must be back here before the end of your lunch break. Got it. I'll drop you off two days after the art heist. Ready? Ready. Here we go. Oh, and I don't cry. Those were allergies. Also use some
The elevator dropped us off in the alley next to the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum, right in the heart of Boston, Massachusetts. There's not much to see in this alley but garbage. Let's go get a better look at the museum, Nibs. I'll go with you, but I might come back and have at these dumpsters. <laughs> Boston always did have top-notch trash. Whoa, look at the museum. The Gardner Museum was absolutely beautiful. I don't know much about architecture, but the building looked like a white brick palace with huge windows and tall chimneys on the roof. When was this museum built, H-Dad? Isabella Stewart Gardner and her husband Jack started to consider building a museum to house Isabella's large art collection in 1896. Construction began in 1899. A whole house just for their own art? It sure is crowded out here. I guess stolen art is a big deal. So, what's the plan? Should we sneak in a side window or find a crack in the foundation to shimmy through? Nibbles, you know I am not a rat, right? Well, nobody's perfect. That woman looks like she is coming right towards us. Quick, hop in my backpack, Nibbles. Uh, Ooh, you let your old gym socks in here. (laughs) Oh, thank goodness. I've been waiting and waiting. Are you the FBI agent sent to investigate the art heist? Please say yes. I can't possibly go on like this. Ah, yes. Yes, that's me. FBI. Federal... B.I. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. I'm the curator of the Isabella. I am special agent... Custard? Custard? Like a pie? Custard like pie, yes. Okay. Let's get to it. We don't have a moment to spare. Welcome to the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. The museum looked like someone's house. Someone's big house. So many paintings and sculptures. With colorful wallpaper and comfortable chairs. More than 7,500 works of art. 1,500 rare books, and 7,000 historical objects. Thirteen less than there were last week. If you had to guess what happened here, what would you say? I don't have to guess too hard. We have motion detectors. The whole thing took exactly 81 minutes. Hmm. Well, let's retrace the steps of the thieves. Good idea. Follow me, please. This is the side entrance of the Isabella. It's locked and monitored by our security guards. Monitored by guards? How did the thieves get in? (laughs) Were they wearing police uniforms or something? Why, yes. Yes, they were. Oh. You're good at this. It is a gift. It is also a curse. Do you have cameras? Not inside. Why not? Why would we record what you can experience with your own eyes? Huh? This is the Dutch room. The pilferers cut Rembrandt's paintings called Christ in the Storm of the Sea of Galilee and a lady and gentleman in black from their frames. A lady and gentleman wearing black were cut? I am not prepared for violence. Shh, nibbles. <laughs> so when you say cut, you mean that the thieves cut the painting named a lady and gentleman in black out of their frames when they stole them? Yes. Oh, never mind. Can you imagine the audacity? In this room, they removed two paintings, an ancient Chinese bronze beaker, and one of Rembrandt's self-portrait etchings. Do I smell pie? Whoa, I'm out of here. Next, in the short gallery, five Degas drawings and a bronze eagle finial were taken. What's a finial? A finial is an ornament at the top and or corner of an object. Who is that? Oh, this is just my device that gives me information. It's like a computer. But computers are huge. How could you be holding one in your hand? Uh, you know, top secret FBI stuff. You actually never saw this. Um, okay. Back to business. Is that all the pieces that were stolen? Almost. Manet's painting called Chez Tortoni was taken from the Blue Room as well. Thirteen priceless works of art in all. How do you plan to track them down? I need you to leave. Excuse me? Please. To solve this case, I need to fully become one with the space. Yes, that is true. I need to be left alone. Okay. But I will return soon. Thank you. (sighs) I wasn't sure she was actually going to leave. So what do you think happened, Nibbles? Nibbles? Nibbles! Where are you? I'm back! Where'd you go? 
<gasps> you were scoping out the dumpsters, weren't you? <gasps> no! How could you... <sighs> Although that is a very good idea. Nibbles. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Actually, I ran off and spied on the detectives in the security room. Turns out, one of the security guards, Rick Abbott, was working during that night. Apparently, he submitted his resignation not long before the heist. Hmm. So, one of the security guards was already planning on quitting his job. So, we need to find out if Rick was the security guard that opened the side door for the thieves. The curator was right! You are pretty good at this! Thank you. Because apparently he was the security guard that opened the side door. He actually went against museum rules and let the thieves into the museum! Well, but the thieves were disguised as police officers. Yeah! You gotta respect the badge, I guess. <laughs> Even if it's plastic. He let them in. They tied him and the other security guard up. And then they spent more than an hour robbing the joint. 81 minutes. 81 minutes. Something seems fishy about this. I feel like there's more to it. <gasps> Maybe it was aliens dressed like police. An extraterrestrial art heist. Do aliens even like art? I don't know, but remember, even when you don't think it could be aliens, it could be aliens. You will never give up on aliens, will you? Cosmically speaking, no. Of course not. H. Dad, what info do you have on the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum security guards? Analyzing. Rick Abbott has never been removed from the suspect list, but he was never formally charged either. Ugh, that stinks. Does the FBI have any other theories? Another theory is that the art was stolen by known art thieves Miles Gunner or Brian Michael McDevitt. Ah, the plot thickens. Let's go pay a visit to these art-stealing people. Miles Connor was in prison during the heist, and the FBI could never build a case against Brian Michael McDevitt. Ugh, another dead end. The final FBI theory is that the mob is responsible. The mob? An organized crime secret society that operates outside the law, but works hard to be accepted in the neighborhoods and cities where they live. He's right. The art world often is connected to organized crime. How do you know? Eh, I have friends. I know people. Not people, rats, but you get the idea. N not really. A reward of $10 million was offered for information leading to the recovery of the 13 pieces of stolen art. $10, $10 million? Dollars? Dollar sign emoji, bag of money emoji. $10 million is a lot of money. I think that shows how important art is. I could buy a thousand dumpsters full of the world's best trash. <laughs> and maybe one of those fidget spinners. I love those. And I'd buy my own time-traveling elevator so I could go wherever I want, whenever I want. That's it? Maybe a fidget spinner, too. They are fun. I know, right? Receiving file. Hold for recording from August 2015. Statement from the U.S. Attorney's Office. The video footage released today shows an unidentified man exiting an automobile and then being allowed inside the museum against museum policy by a security guard 24 hours before the heist occurred. Wait, does that solve the case? The images of the car and man are of very low resolution. The FBI is asking for the public's help in identifying him. Wow, that means someone unidentified went into the museum the day before the heist. This is a huge piece of the puzzle. We should go talk to Rick Abbott. Rick Abbott. Oh, Abbott, Abbott, Abbott. How do you pronounce that, Carly? Excuse me. Agent Custard? Uh, yes, that's me. Well, see that gentleman over there with the coffee? That's Special Agent Powell from the FBI. He has a badge and everything. So, who are you again? Oh, <laughs> uh, lunch break is over. You have to excuse me. Get back here! Imposter! Someone stop her! Oh, Nibbles! Here comes the you FBI! Stop. Hurry! Let's get to the card reader! There it is! Ooh, come on! Oh, they are right behind us! You know, I never did get on! Quick, 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 quick! The whole Jackson Pollock thing! <laughs> come on! I did that way before him with a packet of mustard and ketchup on a Saturday! Let's go! Too close. Whoa. What happened, basement companion? Oh, nothing I can't handle. And then I saw it. Odie, you put the picture I drew of you up on your wall. 
Oh, did I? I love that. No one has ever drawn a picture of me before. It deserves to be displayed. I was blushing. Aw, shucks. <clears throat> so, did you learn anything important about the mystery? Oh, lots. There's still an active list of suspects, including a museum security guard who was on duty that night. And now there's a surveillance video showing an unidentified person being let into the place the night before the crime was committed. That could be a new lead. Oh, you sound like a real gumshoe. Ugh, sorry. I was in a lot of alleys, and I don't know what I stepped in. No, no. Gumshoe means detective. You sound like a real detective. Oh, well, in that case, thank you. So the paintings are still missing, huh? Yeah, the FBI is still looking for them 30 years later. And there's a $10 million reward. Oh, if I had that kind of money, I could finally go on the World Elevator Tour. A vacation visiting all of the world's most glorious elevators. Uh, maybe someday. Oh, that sounds fun. Well, I also learned that it's not just art created by professionals that matters. Whether it was made by professional artists or amateurs like me. All art is important and for everyone to enjoy. I completely agree. Enjoy the rest of your day, basement companion. And enjoy your new art. <laughs> it really does look like me. Except I'm smiling. I realized this week that who stole the Isabella Stewart Gardner art isn't as important as the fact that it was created in the first place. And someone thought it was important enough to put oh, it in a museum. Green. Hey, huh. Carly Q, or should I say Picasso? The wall is almost fully covered with drawings. Are you spending precious company time coloring? It's our lunch break, Louis, and I'm making my own artwork to brighten up the place. Let me see that. Hey, that's not done. What even is it? It's a bottle of fizzy water, your favorite. I was drawing it for you. For me? You give me a hard time, Louis, but I think we could be good friends. Maybe. Maybe. I might not be able to get management to spend money on That's professional art, something in my but eyes. I can use my own art to make this place a little Stop brighter crying. and make people a little happier. <laughs> Emergency, I, I am station. so excited to see what I'll learn on my next Time Sealed Don't adventure. Look at me, Carly Q. Until then, I'm Carly Q signing off from your favorite podcast that doesn't Stop. exist. Everybody keeps getting something in their eye after I give them a piece of art. Hey, maybe you could make some artwork of your own. You could even draw me and Nibbles and a couple of aliens. Send it in. Okay, bye. H Dead initiating end credits mode. Who and Wow Mystery Edition is an original Tinkercast production with help from Gen Z Media. Handshake emoji, high five emoji. For Tinkercast, the executive producers are Guy Raz, Mindy Thomas, and Meredith Halpern Ranzer. The shows are written by Aaron Weissman, Danielle Nicky, Tom Van Kalken, Kenny Curtis, and Mindy Thomas. Carly Shiraki is a producing consultant. Big shout outs to Jed Anderson, Steph Sosa, Henry Moskal, Jessica Bodie, Natasha Crandall, Rebecca Caban. Sona Ali Mohammed, Anna Daniker, Anna Zagorski, and the rest of the team at Tinkercast. Megaphone emoji, applause emoji. Who and Wow's theme song was composed and performed by The Pop Ups. For more information on their three time Grammy nominated all ages music, find them at thepopups.com. Producers for Gen Z Media are David Kreisman, Ben Strauss, Chris Terry, Claire McClanahan, and Amy Servini at gzmshows.com. Sound design and editing is by Chris Terry and Oded Lev Ari. Voice editing by Yoni Reckham. Headphones emoji. Microphone emoji. Thumbs up emoji. Original music was created by Jennifer Rokamp. And voice direction is handled by David Kreisman. Our main cast features Carly Shiraki as Carly Q. Brandon Salerno as Lewis. Melissa Vanderschiff as Nibbles the Rat. Kenny Curtis as h Dad, And Angela Desai as Odie. Want to explore Who and Wow's mysteries even further? You can find free activities and resources to extend the wow at whowenwow.com. And if you have a time-sealed mystery you want Carly Q to explore, email us at hello at tinkercast.com. H-Dad, powering off. Important inventions.